Hello and welcome to a new episode of Something Next Virtually. This week we are talking to Tiffany Maxted, the Dean of Lower School Admissions, along with two students, Christina Fawcett and Jack Heisler, about Junior Blue Key. For those of you who don't know, Blue Key has been a club at the upper school for many years. The students in this club are considered ambassadors for the school and represent them at various events. We hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for joining us today. Blue Key has been a club at the upper school for some time now. Tiffany, when did Junior Blue Key start at the lower school and what prompted you to start it? Sure, so, you know, after giving tours um, to prospective families, uh, myself and Kate kind of felt like we wanted the uh, students to also have a voice and a presence within the lower school when we had those prospective families visiting with us. Um, and our hope was to have those prospective parents envision their child, you know, be one of our junior blue key students, whether it would be giving a tour or, um, you know, maybe being a part of our special days, like our visit days where our students are welcoming families and new students and being their buddy for the day or hosting a table at the activities fair. We really wanted parents to want their child to be one of those students, you know, when they came to them. So we wanted to start this program, Junior Blue Key, um, which was pretty fitting as for a name because we had the Blue Key at the upper school. So um, Junior Blue Key just seemed to be the right the right name for the for the group. And um, about two years ago, it was September of 2019, um, we thought we'd propose it to the students and they seemed pretty excited. And we went back, we created an application for students to fill out. Their parents had to sign off. And um, after the two week deadline, we had about 45 applications come in. So we were really excited and excited about the enthusiasm that the students had for this group. So um, it was a bigger turnout than we expected, but we were thrilled about it. That's awesome. So Christina, can you tell us about some of the responsibilities you have as a member of Junior Blue Key? Yeah, sure. Um, with Junior Blue Key, I've done a lot of different things. I mainly make the posters and stuff like the seven foot tall night for the cereal box challenge. I made that so the night, like it's soared. Um, we would color those in for every cereal box we had. And I think we raised like about 600 cereal boxes and we donated those to a food bank for people who don't have any food. And then also the SEM spotlight flyers I created, which is just our podcast for SEM. Um, and then the t-shirts for in your blue key, there was a night that I did on the front and then Claire Wu, who's in fifth grade, I believe, did that, the quotes on the that represent key. Um, and then also kindness posters, which were like tearaway flyers where you would tear off a little strip of paper and it would have like just a little note of encouragement, which I thought that was just so sweet. Um, I collaborated with, I think, five girls on it. Um, so, and they were hung all around school and they actually worked, they were really popular. And then the other responsibilities I have, it's kind of just like being a mentor for the younger students at Junior Blue Key, just encouraging them to go on, um, whether they're like seventh grade or younger where they're not in Junior Blue Key yet. Um, it's just like being a good example for how, like what Junior Blue Key does and why they should join. That's great, that is great. Jack, what's your favorite part of Junior Blue Key and why? Uh, it's definitely the fun activities like this cereal box challenge because you know it's fun but you also know that you're making a difference like during the cereal box challenge even though we were having fun and recording the dominoes you still knew that they were going to a food pantry and that they were going to help somebody just like the visitation days where even though you, you can make a buddy for the day you're also helping a new student get more accustomed to sim. That's great. Um, Tiffany, so obviously you started this in the fall of 2019 and then a pandemic hit. So how did you guys pivot and still use your Junior Blue Key members during that virtual, mainly virtual time? That was the pretty amazing thing that happened this fall was, you know, we met virtually as most clubs did and we asked the, the students, the Junior Blue Key students to give us ideas of, of how we think we can connect with new students who have enrolled um, for next year, and then also for prospective students who are still looking at Wyoming Seminary. And we had about 20 different ideas come from these kids. And, um, you know, 
one of the ideas was to write handwritten notes um, to say welcome to Sam and a little something about what they loved about their class. And another option was to have Zoom meets. So we had some students meet on Zoom with prospective students to talk about all the things that STEM has for them and um, you know all about their friends and their teachers. So our students were meeting with new students one-on-one -on, -one, um, on Zoom, which is incredible that they have that much confidence and you know to be able to do that with somebody that they don't even know. Um, and then in-house, you know, we really try to keep the spirit of the lower school alive. So we have a junior blue key chalkboard wall that's new. So our junior blue key students were adding to that with confident, uh, confident messages and um, drawings. And, you know, for the do be nice week, we were writing different um, words that meant nice. So, you know, we were adding to that little by little to create a really nice collage. Um, we also did um, the cereal box that we talked about. And now our students uh, are presenting in their peers' classrooms to do lunch and learns for the Barca Foundation. So and we're really still trying to be active. Um, it is a little more challenging, but we're super excited about our first in-person opportunity on April 25th with the Open House and Accepted Students Day. So we're getting back to it little by little, and we're thrilled to welcome our students back to the in-person event and hopefully have a nice turnout for the open house and accepted students day. And Tiffany, you said there was one other um, little project that you wanted to talk about. Yeah, you know, with the with all of the excitement behind this project and um, you know, seeing the involvement and the success of our students, um, I thought it would be a really great way to bring our, our younger students in too. So we're starting a little leaders of the lower school program, um, hopefully in the fall of 2021, as long as everything cooperates with us um, in terms of COVID. And, you know, we'll be having um, those younger students for grades one through four, um, being at the doors for open houses and welcoming families. And they'll have little kits um, on their desks that represent leadership in different ways. So we're, we're really hoping to incorporate that program into the lower school as well. That sounds great. It does. Yeah. I really awesome. like that beyond just in welcoming new students, you're also sort of helping out the students already there. You're doing stuff in-house and the posters are there for the students that are there. And so it's a nice, it's just not for incoming people or people visiting. It's really a school spirit almost group. So I think that really the messages that you're promoting on campus are wonderful. And congratulations on a fabulous cereal box domino challenge. Yes. <laughs> that video is so neat yeah so you're doing wonderful things keep it up thank you well thank you guys so much for joining us thank you for having us have a great spring term thank you thank you so much everybody